Hello and good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to lovely Total War Warhammer and you may be wondering what the hell is this? Basically I'm doing a comparison bench press to see um, benchmark, sorry not bench press, I'm not bench pressing nothing <laughs> and basically uh, I'm going, it's just kind of like a theory to see if it, I, I get notable sort of difference between my previous graphics cards, my two Rodem 2 gigabyte graphics cards to my new recently purchased GTX 1080 and I'm definitely noticing a difference as you can see I'm getting a good old healthy like average of 60 frames in a way maybe it's around like a bit less actually when I'm actually doing all my face cams and recording it might be like 45 frames per second but at the moment as you can see in the, fr the frames uh, frames per second in the top right hand corner that is literally just recording the game, not my face recording, my audio recording, which I always do with my videos. So it's going to be a bit less, but it's definitely much, much better. And oh, it's so cool to see all of this as well. Um, obviously, it's old, but like, battles are going to be more complicated than this. This is almost like very novice battle. You're going to have like loads more units, so it's not the bestest interpretation to say about it. And yeah, it's also not the best frame rates either. You can see the frame rates go all over the place. Um, but yeah. So yes, as well as like the uh, the benchmark you just seen then. Back to the game with Frog Total War Warhammer. Yes. And basically, um, we got a dwarf battle finally for you. Um, I basically in the last episode I said I'll be um, sacking my way through the Empire settlement. I did that. Did not intentionally off screen. Uh, my game crashed a few times because I think I just have a few things to t uh, tinker around with my computer before it's actually functionable, really. Um, at the moment, it's kind of like my final test to see if I can record still. Um, it seems to be my computer might be overheating slightly. I'm like changing my fans around constantly, trying to find the optimal positions for them all and whatnot. So it keeps my computer cool and whatnot. So, let us dive right in. It says it's just in my favor, but I think we have a custom map battle for it. If, uh, if I can say a bit. Az Azid Kazid Bord Galak. Yeah, Kalak. And, um, yeah. So, I think they're going to probably be deploying around here. So, I could always do like a split deployment there and there. Or, I don't know, it beats me. But, let's go and dive right in. Okay, so we're in the battle now, and I'm just going to go over about my deployment zone. Uh, over here, let me just get rid of all this hub for a second, and also get rid of you for a second. I finally got myself a shaman. He's a shaman of metal. I would prefer a shaman of uh, the darkness or the shaman of uh, the beast, but both of them were like really bad stats. Like they had the boring stat or the easily deceived stat, and they weren't so great in combat. Oh, but I love these regiments in the nouns. They're flaming axes or flaming axes. They're flaming. A they're the axes from the chosen, or maybe they just added the like fiery effect from them. But oh, they're so cool. They're very, very nice. Also, speaking of that, actually, I actually, I've even seen uh, actually what these guys are like as well over here. Pretty much the same as the berserker ones, flaming axes. So pretty cool. And they look like they're really armored as well. Like almost like champion level armored, to be honest. Um, so that's pretty cool actually to see. And yeah, I got my ranged units over here. Good old line of them. They look like they have a very tight formation at the moment. But once I start the battle, I can then spread them out further. And I also got some flanking units over here. I got my firma, which are stalking. So they can be on their own a tiny bit. And they don't have to worry about being shot too much. And then we got ourselves the nice speedy Zippy Gonzalez. Lovely cavalry and chariot units. And these are going to try and get round to the flanks. And hopefully charge into their rears. And that would be a good or helpful situation over there. And then all by himself. Well, not really, but he's on a, he's on a bit of his lonesome a tiny bit. He's just got his troll division and a few also uh, flesh hounds, uh, skin wolves. I keep calling them flesh hounds for some reason. I don't know why. They, there's nothing I've heard of what is called flesh hounds, but... Oh, wait, no, I know what they are, actually, yeah. Flesh hounds, because you have the corn ones, yeah. Silly me. But, moving on swiftly. I'm going to skip until we actually get into some decent length close combat. But, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're pretty close now. 
And let's just smash right in over here and make a little nice uh, squishable unit over here to help uh, start this little fight off. So they can start off this fight immediately and do fight or die. So these guys are going to be really hitting like trucks. And let's do that now. Just so for 15 seconds they're going to really hit like mad. And my lord I'm also getting hit like mad already. Yeah, we got some guys around here somewhere. Yeah, there they are, hidden around the corner. <laughs> you guys are going to die super fast. Wait, what? Where are you going? But yeah, I need to make sure my men don't get too caught up in combat too easily. So yeah, you guys move around. You guys move around over here as well. And you guys move around as well. Because I'd rather not them bunch up too closely. And let's have a little vomit all the way across. That'd be really nice. Oh, never mind. It wasn't really a good one. It was kind of just right in front of him. That's a shame. Yeah, let's get some rear charges off over here. And keep on moving up. And these guys can stalk, so these guys are going to be having the fun over here. And these guys need to go around and charge into there. That's a really weird one, actually. Because they need to get around here ASAP. How are these combats going on over here? Oh, I completely look up my Lord Metal Dodge Sorcerer. Let's go ahead and just slap this down right there. Oh, I let them fire off their weapons, and that's not good at all. Yeah, the former lord can charge. Former guy can charge in right now. Yeah, a lot of some men, a lot die very fast. But these guys over here are doing well. Need the lord in there to keep the uh, the sorry my. Shaman in there to keep this leadership going. Jesus, I need to also do re enchant these as well. To make sure these guys are also taken care of. Let's go and put you right there. You guys need to move around a bit further. And these guys need to come out too. Okay, these guys tie up those, those guys over there. I think we've dealt enough of them as well. Deal with these guys over here. Except for you guys, you guys go around a bit more. Yeah, they're dealing with them nicely. Need the hounds over here. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I, I think you guys need to move away for a second. And where's the troll division? Troll division is doing nicely. Not much damage taken on them. Move. My uh, units over here are taking some serious damage. And where's my shaman? Let's put that over there. Alright, let's get some charges off of my lovely little Norska dudes. My little hounds. My pretty hounds of death. Yeah, I need my shaman out because this shaman's going to start taking way too much damage. How is it going on over here? So the hounds have stopped slightly. Yeah, it's going to be alright. I need these guys to really start pulling up now. Where's my shaman? Shaman's doing fine. Let's just keep on bringing down these seer uh, searing doom. Just to really start peppering them with damage. I know it's not going to be much because they're all like, resistant to magic and whatnot. But it's better than nothing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to get to bring all my monsters up. Because there's a big old bunch over here I need to deal with. Or if I could smash their lord, hopefully that could bring down their leadership a bit more. We need a chariot over here to start smashing some damage into these guys. Yep, trolls are doing good now. Are they smashing the smashing the hell out of him? I think Frog needs to do some also some better uh, uh, stats in there as well. And where's the searing doom coming in? Searing doom over there, please. Oh. Chariots can come back out now. They did their work. Charge into these guys, actually. Yeah, and these guys, these little hounds can deal with these um, catapults. They really need to stop them from firing. Might just have to do some low stats one, just to really keep the uh, damage going. Just because I don't want to kill my Shaman Sorcerer by just overcasting all the time. My lord, this lord is so durable. Is Frog able to use his ability yet? Not yet. Well, he can use his other stats, actually. Any of you I'm missing over here? Yeah, Hound's still them. Yeah, yeah, they've already broken, actually. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well. And Chariot, how are you? Yeah, you need to be out. Deal with these guys. Make sure they don't come back and do anything nasty to me. Everyone here needs to deal with these guys to make sure they keep on fleeing as well. Seriously though, these guys are just really durable. Actually, it'd be easier for these guys to deal with the actual other units rather than dealing with the Lord because they're just going to be dealing damage just to the Lord. Because, oh yeah, the Lord's taking so much damage already. Jesus. Need these guys to keep on helping out these guys out. Never Searing Doom over here would help out. How are these combats going on over here? If this Lord dead, that would really break their leadership. Is this guy unbreakable or something? He is. Jesus Christ. No wonder why he wasn't dying anytime soon. If I can get that unbreakable tool, that'd be really helpful. Yeah, mass break now. Great. Other than these guys, these guys are going to die fast though. <laughs> oh, other than you actually, you're unbreakable. Well, you were unbreakable. Now you're not unbreakable. Weird. Oh, because he had the crown of command. That was why. Silly mate. Duh. And you smash him too. But yeah, that's that. I'm just going to try and kill this lord. And then I'm going to basically end this battle here. Which he shouldn't take much long. With one more smack from Frog, we'll kill him. Come on, just smash him, please. Smash his face in. Nope, was that it? Did that kill him? Nope. Nope, now he's dead. Woo! That was fun. Probably not the bestest battle, because I took a lot of casualties. But that was really fun. Yeah, 900, uh, 226 remaining. I <laughs> should have really not taken that many casualties. But I've kept most of the good stuff. Yeah, I still got my regiment side. Maybe I still kept everybody. And I can go into a um, uh, encampment to get some health back, which would be really helpful. I've probably lost a lot of my hunters, but meh. Duty calls and whatnot. But man, yeah, my troll. My monster units were real big MVPs. And oh, we need to get a lot more ice trolls. Supposedly, for Frog's um, uh, crown of command, I need four ice trolls in his army. Okay, so we have ourselves a battle. And we have another dwarf battle against us. And we are fighting against them. And we should be winning, murdering, and slaughtering all of them. Yep, and we have ourselves a very interesting battle indeed. Let's try and get some rear charges off of these chariots as well. Yeah, Frog, you should buff some men up. And vomit on him too, if you can. Can you? Yes, you can. My God, yep, 
going wisely over here. How about some Searing Doom? Yep, everyone charge up. Chariots can come out. So we need some rear charges over here. You over here. And you throw some axes over there. Yep, all good. Chariots, yep. Have some for more fun. Okay. Alright, never recharge in for, uh, skin wolves. Have some fun with you. Let's go into a cinematic charge, this one. Yes. Here they come. Woo! <laughs> Ah, so funny to see them all charge in like an absolute badass. Urgh. Yep, need to have frogs start doing some damage over here. And activate it up right now. Boop. And yep, just going to kill their lords. And then we can deal with everything else. Hmm. They have four more order berserkers in this unit. And they had... At least good old 50 of them. Oof. Not good old. Oof. Okay, so... I'm going to call this video here. Because a lot of things have happened and I'm very disappointed about it, to be honest. And I feel like I've done some really stupid, novice mistakes. With a severe lot of things. Because I've lost all of... My main starting thing of Mount of the he Mount of he Hells, and I'm really frustrated with that. And I've practically lost almost every other province as well, in a way, because I'm thinking like I've had a lot of cities destroyed by rebellions, which I really should have kept an eye on. And I just felt like I rushed things, and especially at the very start of the campaign, there was these there was the units that had just like great weapons that did nothing. Like, they really did nothing at all. Like, even in the, like, like, I didn't even transfer a lot of them over to this army because they had, like, three units of them. Like, these are the only two, and they haven't even done anything. Still. Like, they haven't even ranked up at once. So, they like, really haven't done anything. So, yeah, I feel a bit disappointed about that. So, what I'm probably going to do is off-screen, play offline, and re restart this campaign because I'm being a bit of a dutz and uh, get back to the turn 50 as you can see already and just see if I could do it, if I basically was able to do it better have more cities more income and just more of everything to be honest because I just feel like I'm going into a weird spiral downhill because I got like yeah frogs army is no longer what it used to be and what I went from strength rank 2 to strength rank 6 so yeah my army, my armies are slowly dwindling down and just going into a spiral of like not working very well. Because there's armies, I, I, I could just leave that army alone. Because next turn I'll raise that city, go around there, attack that city, potentially have enough to raise it. I don't know, I'll have to see. Possibly, I might have enough. And yeah, <laughs> well. Yeah, see you guys in the next video, which would be much, much better. And I could, I'm could, i going to try and get it uploaded on maybe Friday or Thursday, but I don't know if I would be able to because I'm working Wednesday. And if I would try and record it Wednesday to upload Thursday, it's just not going to work. So, meh. Uh, well, technically it will be today, actually, not Wednesday, because I always rec I record this Tuesday, and it's obviously going to be uploaded Wednesday, so yeah. See you guys in the next video of Frog and its great campaign. Cheerio. Goodbye. See you later. Au revoir. Das Vedania.